Why should you know the value of your hay? You want to really ensure that your cattle's needs are being met. When it comes to formulating a diet that economically meets the needs of your cattle, you have to know what you're getting out of your forage. For half the producers, sampling will show that you might be limited for either protein or energy. For the other half of producers, you might find that you actually have an excess of protein or energy, in which case you don't need to pay for extra supplementation. The bottom line is it's always a good idea to know what the nutritional profile is of your hay. You want to ensure you're providing the least cost ration that will meet your performance expectations. First, we need to keep in mind that different fields and different cuttings will have a different analysis. If you have multiple lots of hay and intend to use these hays in your feeding program, you should take a sample from each lot. Today we're only going to sample one lot and show you how to take and send a sample that's representative of the entire lot. This means that we will subsample roughly 10% of the total bales in the lot from a minimum of 10 hand grabs. The tools that you will need for taking the samples are a permanent marker, a sample kit from Vitafirm, and a clean five gallon bucket. It helps to have a short pipe of some sort or a similar tool that will help you open up the end of the bale, allowing you to reach further inside of it to take your sample. Using a permanent marker, fill out the information on the provided bag. We begin by sampling random bales throughout the lot. In this case, we are looking for bales that are easily accessible. It helps to use the short pipe to pry open the bale. Your goal is to reach inside with your hand open and grasp tightly a handful of hay material. You want to try to not strip the leaves off when you do the grabbing, so many small handfuls are better than one large handful. Place it in the bucket and move to the next bale until you have at least 10 grab samples. All 10 grab samples will be placed in the same bucket. Once you have completed sampling the desired number of bales, the sample will need to be mixed. You cannot rely on the lab to mix your sample, so you will want to pull apart and mix the samples in the bucket. Dump the sample material into the gallon resealable bag. It is okay if the bag is not full, but you should remove any excess air from the sample before zipping up the bag. You will need approximately a half a quart of material in the bag. Place the completed and filled out sample bag in the postage paid envelope provided in your sample kit. Once we receive your results, you'll receive a copy along with our recommendations. All this takes only a few minutes and you can confidently sleep knowing that your cows are getting the nutrition they need to reach their genetic potential.